in our business, we do not have a lot in common with athletes. Okay. Especially NFL players. We do not. We do no. not. We do not. But I think we finally found common ground with one position group in the NFL. The backup punter? Running backs. Oh. Running backs. I feel like running, you know, the the, the predator meme, you know, it's uh you know Arnold Schwarzenegger and Billy with with uh with Carl Weathers. Yeah. And Apollo you know, they, 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 they yes, you know, like you see the muscles rippling in the in the, in that the might sweat. not be us, but no, definitely not us. It's a lot of <laughs> flab. If we were to do that, maybe we actually should do that and just see all the jiggle in our arms because we don't work out. But no, we have something in common with NFL running backs now. Ownership is not willing to spend money on your position anymore. So this week, there's been like an open revolt in the NFL from running backs because we've seen three very productive players, including Saquon Barkley, get the franchise tag. And interestingly enough, the running back position is the only position in the NFL that has seen a decrease in franchise tag average, which is pretty wild as that position continues to kind of get commoditized, essentially. Oh, okay. We draft you. You produce for us. You got tread on the tire. Oh, you want to get paid? Turn it along. No, no, I'm good. We're going to go draft your replacement. It's, it's really difficult. And look, we have personal relationships with guys, including NC State, former NC State great Naheem Hines, who is... Try to, you know, he's not just a running back. He's a utility guy. He's a special teams guy. He's gotten a contract, but it shows you, even though you can do a whole bunch of things on the field, including Christian McCaffrey, who's a Swiss Army Knight and was the Panthers' offense, you still go, eh, we appreciate it. Here's like about $13 million, and then we're going to keep it moving. Do you think it was an accident that the Panthers couldn't get a first round pick? For Christian McCaffrey, absolutely of course not. not. Absolutely not. Absolutely Even not. with all of yeah. his mm -hmm. value, because of durability, that, yes. that's what this all comes down to. And when's the last time a running back was the main engine on a team that won the Super Bowl? Think about it in those terms. But how do you get to a Super Bowl? Hey, uh, what it's it, changed? Hand, it's the, changed. Da, hand the damn ball off to Marshawn Lynch. Maybe you have two Super Bowls. He would be the answer. Okay, he would be the answer. So, or you know what, John Elway. I mean, I know now I'm dating myself. Time yeah, is time. Terrell is Davis. Flat. That's fine. That's but Terrell Davis. I mean, John Elway doesn't overcome the he hasn't won one yet. You think Dan Marino would have liked a reliable running back? Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So I find it somewhat dismissive when you say, "Well, name me the team who's won a Super Bowl that has this high paid running back." That's not the point. How do you get there? That's the point. It's one of my favorite Dave Doran sayings, actually. Might be my favorite Dave Doran saying. Okay. If you pass the score, you run to win. Because usually early in the games, you're trying to put points on the board. And then mm -hmm. when you want to choke that thing out, you do need to be able to run the clock, run the ball, keep, hang on to the ball, keep your uh, opponent's offense off the field. The NFL has changed a lot. I mean, the, the rules have basically been set up for offenses to score. The rules have been set up for quarterbacks to play forever and be the stars in this game. Yes. There's no doubt about yeah, that. Yeah, we live in a weird world where Daniel Jones, who, look, bless Daniel Jones, it's not against, it's not, it's nothing about him per se. If, you know, if David Cutcliffe happens to be listening to this podcast or watching us on YouTube, it's nothing personal against Daniel Jones. It's that what has he done? Man, he had that one playoff game against the Vikings where he did really look amazing. I'm not lying. I'm not even being a jerk right now. Cool. He looked amazing in that one. game. He was terrible against the Eagles, but man, one. he looked out one. of this one. world. One, 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 one. And yet, and yet, and <laughs> yet, he's gonna he's got a decent contract with the Giants. Meanwhile, Saquon Barkley, who has been their offense, truly been their offense, but has also, been used but also up been hurt. out. But he's also been hurt. This is true. This is true. Speaking of Christian McCaffrey, he and according to Pro Football Talk, there's like a group chat with all the running backs in the NFL and they put sort they put forth this week like a concerted effort to tweet out and raise awareness and things we like that. We the men of the NFL running backs <laughs> pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so here's Christian McCaffrey. This is criminal. 3 of the best players in the entire league regardless of position and he's reacting to Dov Kleiman's tweet about Saquon Barkley with the Giants, Josh Jacobs with the Raiders and Tony Pollard with the Cowboys all getting franchise tagged. And again, I cannot stress this enough. The running back position is the only position to see a tag value decrease over time. Uh, I forgot who it was who had tweeted this out. Maybe I can I can pull it up. Um, but somebody pointed out it was like, here's what the average annual value of Saquon Barkley is versus like a punter, right? Oh, it was a kicker. It, it was the kicker. Kicking, the kicking position has gone up. It has gone up. It has gone up. Of course, because it's more specialized than the running back position. Mm -hmm. The thought process is you could just draft a guy in the fifth, sixth, seventh round, plug him in, get a year. This is all. This is all Big Shanahan's fault, by the way. 
you want to blame somebody, which is the irony of Kyle Shanahan collecting running backs at this yeah. point, right? Yeah. The big Shanahan was the one after Terrell Davis with that offensive line in Denver that said, Oh, and by the way, I they got do Terrell any, Davis out of Georgia after anybody. major knee injuries and right. turned him into a Hall of Famer. Then after that, it became, oh, well, I'll just get Mike Anderson. Oh, I'll, you know, it's like, I'll just back the fifth. I'll just draft the fifth string Georgia running back and <laughs> I'll win a Super Bowl. <laughs> and think about it. That's basically what a lot of NFL teams have done, save for the Panthers. The Panthers love a first round running back pick. They can't get enough of mm. first round running back picks. So here's uh, Matt Miller, who goes by NFL Draft Scout on Twitter. And this is the thing that most of the running backs were reacting to, including Austin Eckler, uh, who had gone in on the business of this. But this is and I don't disagree with what Matt Miller is saying, is that the tweet reads, been saying it for years, draft a running back, play the running back. If he's good, franchise tag the running back one time and then draft a running back and then bring that guy up. I don't disagree with the business aspect of what Matt Miller is discussing. And that's where Jonathan Taylor comes in and he tweets out, one, if you're good enough, they'll find you. If you work hard enough, you'll succeed. If you succeed, three, you boost your organization and then doesn't matter. You're a running back. And actually, whether Jonathan Taylor was being very specific with the running back position label or he stumbled into this, this is really what it's about. It's the position, even though we recognize like with all other positions They've evolved over time. You just mentioned the kicker. It's more specialized. The tight end. And tight ends ain't what tight ends used no. to be back in the day. The receivers. Remember, there was a time, and we saw this with Jimmy Graham, I'm pretty sure, back in the day. Uh, and who was it? Uh, was it Marquise Colston as well? I only remember this from fantasy football because you could put him in the flex. But he was a wide receiver. And then he wanted to get paid like a wide receiver. And what what did the organization say to him? <laughs> You're a tight end. <laughs> You're a tight end. Again, this gets back to sports media and running backs clasping hands and rippling sweat and muscles. Well, one muscle, one flabby in the case of sports media, because that often happens in our business. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you're this. And we're going to pay you like this. OK, and this all actually, you, you blame Shanahan. Ultimately, what I blame is the 2011 collective bargaining agreement. Sam Bradford ruined the game for everybody. He did. Okay. Yes. So there, there's there's helped and ruined. There's evolutions to this. Right? <laughs> Both. <laughs> so, you know, that's a, a valid point. That's a valid point. So the 2011 CBA was focused primarily on quarterbacks because Sam Bradford signed a six year, eighty million dollar rookie deal, and everybody freaked. Never played it down. Everybody freaked. Right. So they went. No, 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 no. We can. We need the rookie wage scale. We gotta. We gotta bring this down. So it was collectively bargained and it was focused on quarterbacks. And we've seen the NFL adapt to that rookie wage scale where if you nail the QB like a Russell Wilson in the third round, it saves you a lot of money or Dak Prescott saves you a lot of money. You can focus on other parts of the team, ramp up your defense, spend money on an offensive line, spend money on a wide receiver. You can help that quarterback and you can help the quarterback. You can build around it. Sometimes you get that money to a running back, right? And then if, if, if you succeed, the quarterback then gets rewarded with what he's done. It's one of the unique aspects of American sports economies. You usually get paid for what you've done more so than what you're going to do in the future. So we, we've seen the game change where it makes much more economic sense to draft quarterbacks consistently. And if they don't work out, no big deal. Hit the reset button. Let's try again. See if you win. Which out. you couldn't have done under the old CBA. Absolutely that was not. the problem with the old CBA. You're Absolutely paying not. an unproven quarterback. And yes, yeah, sometimes they're Peyton Manning, but sometimes they're Ryan Leaf. Now, in the decade plus that we've seen this new collective bargaining agreement, I, we can all recognize what's happened with quarterback and how teams go about drafting Taking more chances in the first round because they're more disposable. The unintended con consequence of all of this has been screwing the running back and the specific position of running back. And that's why we are where we are. And I don't blame the running backs for being vocal about it. But unfortunately, that's just the nature of the economy right now for running backs. You're worth what someone's willing to pay for you. Same and, as it's what I've learned from Weston. And I feel at, yeah. Oak, at Oak City Sports <laughs> Card. The value is what someone's willing to pay for. This it. is true. That is the value of the card. This is true. And uh, we'll, we'll close this conversation on this part of this as it relates to the running back and what you're worth and everything else. Derrick Henry probably had it best when he had tweeted out, we should just get rid of the position. Stop calling it the running back. If you rebrand it and you call it for what it actually is, it needs a refresh. 
needs a new font, maybe a new color scheme, a new Up, logo. Upward leaning, forward leaning, yeah, right? Yeah. Future. Is that what the NHL and spend, ACC said? Like spend half a million dollars on a consultant to be like, <laughs> well, if fish you, baits. So if you, yeah, fish bait solutions. So if you, if you take RB, you give it a new font and then lean, lean. It forward with an underline, underline, then maybe ownership will look at you differently. <laughs> <laughs> 